Hello everybody. I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, on a previous video, uh, what I did was I ran the tractor for a while and I tried to go forward and reverse. It went forward, but it wasn't going to reverse. But in the first video, I'm pretty sure I was able to get forward and reverse. But the one thing I'm noticing here is I just stuck these bolts in here temporarily so I can, um, you know, brace the handlebar here. And I'm pretty sure it's because the shift lever here is hitting the handlebar and it's not going all the way back to catch reverse. So since I don't have any, um, since I don't have the right bolts for this, I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to uh, be making these bolts work. They're, they're, they have to be like one inch long. And what I'm going to do is I'll show you uh, how I do it. And we'll make these bolts one inch long. I'm really low on hardware. So I have to work with what I got. So the important thing is I want to make sure we grab reverse. Because after that, if I know reverse works, I still have to take the attachment off. And we have to um, address this issue here with the PTO lever seized. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, take care of that and in the meantime I have a handlebar here with uh, good rods good levers and I'm gonna switch them over to the other tractor and on the other tractor the L bracket which I have because I gathered all the uh, parts together there's an L bracket that goes here so I believe when you put it in forward gear it hits the all bracket so we're not gonna worry about that too much today so I'm gonna go ahead make up the bolts and see if we grab reverse for now okay so I screwed the nut on here and I'm gonna make the cut right alongside the nut here and I'm gonna use this dull hacksaw that I have um, if you're feeling brave you could always use the cut off to Tool, tool also I, I usually do that but today since I'm showing you I'll use the hacksaw instead and this way you get a better grip inside the vise having the nut and the head of the bolt and you can tighten the vise up plus you want the nut on there so you can uh, make sure the threads are all right after you cut what I do is I wheel the nut off and then I stick the nut back on make sure all that is good and this way with the nut you get a real straight cut so I'll go ahead and get that ready and we'll saw through so let's see if I can get through that with this dull hacksaw here yeah it's really dull Keep forgetting to buy hacksaw blades. It's going through. So when I get to the end, I usually uh, put a pair of pliers on here and hold it steady. Because you want you want to cut right through the bolt. You don't want any burrs hanging off the edge if you can help it. Boy, this saw really sucks. It's going to be a little hot, but not too bad, though. And then you're going to take your... Uh, ratchet your socket I mean not your socket your uh, wrench here it's 9 16 by the way and you're just gonna ease it off I usually go back and forth a little bit here I think you could say hope so it's coming off pretty easy I just wheel it on and off a little bit so if you ever get in a bind and you gotta cut your bolt this is how I do it and this way 
you get your nut off and then it should screw right back on again and then I have no problem uh, attaching that that handlebar back on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt this up to the tractor and then I'm, I'll do the other side and we'll see if we got reverse there's no sense going on until I know we have reverse okay I just used some uh, PB blaster and uh, I got these nuts to move yeah I think last night I hit it with that um, freeze off stuff first before I went inside but I was able to use the uh, PB blaster um, okay so this is uh, reverse and forward now this spring assembly here that's on the lever that is supposed to pivot up and down also and if it doesn't I've seen guys where they couldn't grab reverse or forward and it was because of that and um, that's an important uh, issue that happens with this especially the rust bucket that this thing is now when I put it in reverse the lever is still hitting the handlebar here but we're gonna try it anyway see if we grab some reverse so what happens when that when you have that happen like that you can take this lock bolt and loosen it and this lever here will pivot on the shaft and then you just want to bring this like forward a little bit and tighten it up and then you should be able to grab reverse if the clutches and everything are good so I'm gonna to try to um, I'm gonna start it up and we'll see if we grab reverse Good stuff. Decent anyway. Alright, so I'm going to have to do that thing with the lever. I'll be back in a second. I'm thinking about changing the lever out right now and making sure that pivot that I showed you works. But as far as I can see, the uh, that lever needs to be pushed forward some. Okay, this is just as I suspect it. Like I, I can't pivot this on a lever here, so I have to try to loosen that up. We're definitely gonna have to make that adjustment to to the uh, lever that goes over the shaft here. So let me uh, use our miracle juice here and see if I can get it loose here. Otherwise, I have to take it off and stick it in the vise and do it. let it sit a while and then I'll be back you know come to think of it I think it's this part here that goes through the center here it's supposed to move you see the spring action there wasn't doing that before I don't remember if this is supposed to actually pivot on the on the, on the um, lever here I'm not really sure I forgot already but we got that to move. That was stuck. I got that to move with just the PB blaster before. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm going to make the adjustment on the lever down here. And um, I'll stick the rod on there and we'll see what goes on. I just want this when you put it in reverse to clear the handlebar. And it's not. It's hitting right against the handlebar. The handlebar is probably bent. I mean, everything's bent up on this tractor anyway, so I'm going to have to compensate for a lot of stuff on here. But I'm pretty sure this lever should be more forward. Pretty sure. So I, spear, I sprayed uh, this bolt here. I don't think it comes out the other end. Yeah, it does come out the other end. 
I sprayed that. So let me get a half inch socket and see if we can loosen that. And I'll push that forward a bit. If I break the bolt off in here, I got a spare. I have a spare one that I used to carry with me when I used to go snow plowing. I've broken those levers before. A lot of times they break if you over tighten the clutch. They're made, of, made out of some kind of soft steel. I don't know what, but it's not like solid steel. Okay, that loosens up, which is good. You don't want to make it too loose. You know, I wonder if this thing was loose to begin with before. And shifting it back and forth. Because this thing, I hardly even loosened then it turned. See how far we got here. See, still, I still don't like that. Still want to push it a little more forward. I just loosened it enough so where I could push it. Otherwise, let me see what that looks like. Yeah, I still think that this is supposed to pivot on here. I don't, I don't remember. Let's just try it and see what's going on. I'm gonna tighten this back up now. See if we can grab reverse. All right, so I'm gonna stick the rod back in there and bolt it up, and um, I'll be right back with you. I stuck the rod back in, and um, this has the swivel. That has the sw swivel because it doesn't feel right. I just sprayed the crap out of it again before with the uh, freeze off. Something happened. Yeah, something's happening. Yeah, it's moving. I'm gonna have to move you. I have to work on this from the front. It looks like. As soon as I get it to move without wasting any more freeze out, I'm gonna just hit it with a blaster. I don't know. Can you can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there it goes. That stuff's unbelievable, let me tell you. I couldn't even move this thing before. Can you see what I'm doing, I hope? Yeah. Yeah, that, that definitely has to move. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep hitting it with some uh, blaster now. That's incredible. Low gear, high gear one seems to be good. Yeah, that's how it's, yeah, is it? I figured it was supposed to move. Yeah, that's moving real nice now. That's probably how the rod, the old uh, forward reverse rod got all bent up and shit. Uh, sorry, I cursed. Because somebody was trying to force it. Excuse me for that. Yeah, look how easy that moves. Can you even see? Yes. All right, I'm gonna stick the rod back on there. We'll try this again. So because the lever was stuck, this rod here wanted to bend up all the time. It was bending up this way because it wasn't pivoting, pivoting down there. So we have that issue pretty much fixed. I'm just going to uh, leave it like this without that L bracket because it'll work. So all I have to do is put the two nuts on the um, 
reverse part of it and see if we can get reverse. Okay, let's try it again. I can't believe that. I couldn't remember if that pivoted or not. so cool. I was thinking I had to put a clutch in it and everything. Okay, that's going to do it on this one. Oh, I'm so happy it goes into reverse. Uh, next time, I'll be pulling off the mower deck. And we'll see what's going on with the uh, PTO here. This dock. I don't know if it's the gear in there that goes over the shaft. I'm not really sure, but we'll see what happens. I'll take it apart. And I hope uh, this video helps you out with uh, shortening the bolt. You never have to shorten the bolt or any other gravely problems that, that you have if you own one of these. And until next time, I believe this is part five, so it's going to be a part six. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.